Patrick CC uploaded a video, the secret truth behind Drake's diss. What's there to know? What's there Although to know? Although you might I'm think the Drake beef is mostly between him and Kendrick, there is actually someone getting not nearly as much attention that's secretly the mastermind behind all of this. Oh. Now, we all know Drake recently released his diss track called Push Ups, where he dissed multiple rappers, including Kendrick. The song's hard, by the way. I don't think anyone round... I, didn't, I don't think anyone won round one, but there's definitely a casualty. Let's have a moment of, moment of silence for J. Cole. Here lies J. Cole, a fallen soldier. He will be missed. Rick Ross, Future, Metro Boomin, The Weeknd, Ross, this J. Cole, I. and potentially subliminals across the entire industry. BBL firstly, Drizzy. you know I'm always going to look at this from a business perspective, and all of you have to keep in That's mind that music is that. a business. I believe that everyone involved in this beef knows that it is good for hip-hop. It's interesting. Oh, I was telling my friend this. Hip-hop's been boring recently. This has brought so much fun to it. I don't, I don't know. And it's it's not even a bad thing either. Like J. Cole was saying, people want blood. Nobody wants blood. We just want to be entertained. This shit is amazing for the culture. And entertaining. All of these artists, yes, including Drake, their sales numbers are down. Hip hop sales numbers across the yes. entire genre are down. Now I'm not saying that this is pre planned and they're all secretly working together behind the scenes saying, Oh, I'm gonna say this, then you say that. No, it's not orchestrated like that. It's been but brewing for 10 all years. of them will make money and will benefit if their names oh, are sure. being so dragged into a, this beat. A study. All their sales are probably going up right now. They can release it's a single, crazy. they can release an album where they may or may not respond, and then the fans are going to tune in leading to more streams and more sales beef has always been good for hip-hop it makes money you get what i'm saying now in the track push-ups drake definitely threw some nice little jabs at kendrick he made fun of his shoe size he called him a pipsqueak he says he's being extorted by his label saying he is just as much of a sellout rapper turned pop star 50s. as any other rapper who did pop records for money <laughs> and yeah some good solid jabs cool but there was one i'm not gonna lie that's a good line because kendrick's all about you know the if, whenever one talks about Kendrick, it's the artistry. So he did a song with Taylor Swift. It's like, oh, you selling out, Kendrick? But at the same time, bro, you're Drake. You make J.C. Penny music. I don't want to hear it from you, bro. One bar that is massively overlooked. Hugs and kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every chain I own next visit. I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say drop your little... All right, all right, all right. <laughs> In Kendrick's track, he said, y'all better get the switches and that he's going to be snatching chains, to which Drake says, no, you're not. But the I be with bodyguards yeah, line Whitney. like Whitney, it does obviously refer to Whitney Houston's 1992 mm -hmm. film Bodyguards, but Whitney is also the mm -hmm. name of Kendrick Lamar's fiance. Drake drag... So this, I think Kendrick's about to go crazy. You mentioned my wife? Then he do that with Pusha T, and then Pusha T dropped the classic. Pusha T made Drake a good father. <laughs> In Kendrick's fiance's name into this beef is uh, huge, in my opinion. Yeah, I and I think this that, is really where the beef is At going. At this point, Drake's basically saying, "Yeah, I'm taking the gloves off. We getting serious." Start. You have to remember that everything up until this point has pretty much just been about numbers, it's who has now. the most sales, who's the most relevant, who has the most cultural dominance, who's big three. It's just been strictly competitive until now. I mean, even if you think back all the way to Kendrick's control exactly. verse where he dissed every relevant rapper in the game, the including remember Drake, that? he said he had love for everybody, but he wanted to murder them no and take now. their fans. What? But this was Wait, just for the sake of competition, <laughs> which we all agree is good for hip hop. And even Kendrick's shots uh. that he took on like that were pretty light and also strictly competitive. So Drake bringing up Kendrick's fiance, Dude. his family, is even a line that he thinks is taking it too far. Well, it wasn't even about battle rap or any of that. It was just the, the, the information was too shocking. It was, like I said, it was, it was a, on his part, it was a genius chess move. He obviously has no like, you know, when it comes to me, he's not gonna have any like morals or respect. So the other elements of the record, um, whether it be like just like the shit that he's making up about like my mom and my dad and all this like dumb mm -hmm. shit. Or, uh, or, you know, obviously the part that, that hit me the most, which is like, you know, wishing like that my friend that has an illness like dies. Uh, like don't, that shit that to me is just not really crazy. crazy. Like I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm just not really with that. Like, that and baby. when I did say, oh, there's rules to this. I, I didn't mean there's rules that anybody has to follow. 
whether whether there was information that didn't get revealed or not, the point is like I, there's just some unwritten rules in the sport for some people. Obviously yeah. not for him, and that's fine. You know, there's a point where you're gonna want to stop rapping. I'm sure I could say something about you know your lovely. Li it's like the point where he's trying to get to is like it gets too serious. It's like now I have to beat your fucking ass. Like now it's more than just bars. Now I have to beat your ass. Lady or you know a child or a family member and you're just gonna want to not really rap anymore yeah. so when Pusha T brought up Drake's family his child and his friend 40 who was unwell Drake said that was too far he also admits that's how Pusha won so there and yeah. see what Kendrick is gonna do which in my opinion is really where the beef starts it starts at the mention of Kendrick's fiance and things could get ugly from here just, like if Kendrick responds just to saying that the name line directly he he didn't do too crazy. He just said her name. It's not too crazy. He could have went way further, but it's definitely going to uh, invoke a response. That's what he wants. He might start wiling out, exposing personal information. Again, I don't think they're going to be sliding on each other's blocks, but... Oh no, it could, it could get a little messy. But if Kendrick ignores that line, then everyone can just kind of play it off and say, oh, that that Drake was never talking about his wife. That that line was about hit Whitney Houston. It was just about bodyguards. Eh, whatever, forget about it. So it's definitely a strategic chess move by Drake. But ironically, the most overlooked mastermind in this entire beef is Metro Boomin. I believe he has the biggest role in this situation, but he isn't Shut really getting up, the attention because he's not a rapper and he can't technically respond the only line metro received in push-ups was metro shut your hoe ass up and make some drums but it's <laughs> actually much funny, deeper bro. than that it starts with metro's tweet and delete rant Twitter, about yeah. drake the hip-hop all leaders. day twitter account was comparing the streams leaders. of drake's her loss and metro boomin's heroes and villains her loss is about 1.3 billion streams behind heroes and villains currently getting 10 million streams a day heroes and villains is way better but... her loss 4 million the gap is only going to widen. Then Metro Boomin chimed into the conversation and said, yet her law still keeps winning rap album of the year over heroes and villains. Proof that award shows are just politics and not for me. I don't care about awards, honestly. The true award and reward is knowing that the music I spend so much time on brings joy to the people's everyday lives. What's so funny about these tweets is that Metro is doing the exact same thing that DJ Khaled was doing against Tyler the Creator. Tyler went number one, DJ Khaled went number two, and DJ Khaled Khaled was pissed and everybody was like shut up DJ Khaled you had everybody in the industry on that album and you still couldn't come and it's like this too Tyler's album is art DJ Khaled's album is just commercial bullshit nobody cares it comes and it goes same thing <laughs> oh okay Jake fans gonna be hate me. I can't compete with Tyler. But DJ Khaled based his argument off stream, saying, "I like Drake. albums so people can I like play Drake. it and you actually hear it. It's called albums that you actually hear the song. Is that what it's called? Not no mysterious shit, and you never hear it. Like, dude, <laughs> shut up. Igor was just a great album. That's it. Metro is kind of doing the same thing here. He's mad about an award, not necessarily going number one. But Metro is an executive producer." DJ Khaled is an executive producer. The only difference is that Metro does have the capability and the ability to make amazing music himself and actually do the producing. And he didn't make some annoying video to post on social media, but I mean, Dante, you gotta back me up here. Like he's clearly pressed. Like he said, yeah. I don't even care about awards. Then why did you tweet about it, bro? Yeah. You care. But then he deleted the tweet. So I guess that proves he doesn't care. And then Drake, a few months later, called him a tweet and deleter. The non-believers, the underachievers, the tweet, tweet and deleters. deleters. <laughs> you guys make me sick to my stomach, son. Honestly, need to you guys want to look in my eyes. You guys want to do something? You guys, that's what I thought. So hear me out. Metro believes in his heart. Her loss robbed him of an opportunity to win a BET award or a Grammy or some other award. So it makes sense why he would even drop win a another Grammy? album that's not necessarily rushed, but I mean, Heroes and Villains dropped like 14, 15 months ago, and he already has We Don't Trust You this year. Especially considering Drake said he won't be dropping any more music this year, maybe 
maybe metro is trying to drop an album and get the award that he thinks he deserves which would be so funny if drake just said eh, fuck it i'm gonna do a surprise album <laughs> and he drops an album that gets an award over metro again that would be diabolical that would be hilarious okay if Drake drops Can't another lie. album this Can't year. Lie. I think he watched this video because the Drake is that type of petty. By the way, Drake does petty shit. You want to see? You want to see something? I just saw. You want to see something? <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me Drake's not petty, bro. He hired a whole mariachi band. He's crazy. He's crazy. The ultimate troll to Metro would be to drop another album and intercept Metro's ability to get some award or get a Grammy or something like Who's that. That would be truth, bro? crazy. But additionally, it was on We Don't Trust You that Future took shots at Drake. He said on track number one, you my number one fan, dog. Sneak dissing, I don't understand. Pillow talking, acting like a fed. I don't need another fake friend. Can't be about a hoe because so Sharon. Be in your feelings, fan. why you playing, dog? I know. I, I didn't rap it. All right. I didn't rap it. And the only reason we knew this was a diss at Drake was because Drake's opening line in push ups was, I could never be nobody's number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in, in your, your hand, hand which is true. I mean, surprisingly future had like seven or eight number one albums but he never had a number one single until he collaborated with drake i think it was way too sexy which is like future deserved so many other number right. ones other that than that but ass. regardless it is true but there really that isn't horrible. that much history of beef between future and drake like Not they're gonna lie everyone was playing it though kind of friends uh, as far as we know i mean shit. bloggers and youtubers are now diving Ugh. into the history and looking at all of these subliminal shots that may or may not be between these two and there could be something there but the only likely explanation that makes any sense is over a girl and it's a really long story that's not worth getting into all of the details in my opinion but the spark notes is essentially that Drake and Future allegedly have some beef over this girl who goes by the name Princess Diana. But then again, Future just said that the beef can't be about a hoe because they're sharing, which does prove that they have shared women in the past. That's disgusting. It seems like everyone in the rap game fucks the same hoes. It's just nasty. I don't know. But it doesn't really seem that Eskimo strong. Bros. So Metro is clearly mad at Fuck. Drake, and Future might be lightly agitated, or maybe Future is not particularly happy with the way that Drake and Metro's relationship has sort of panned out, so it's time to take sides. Is Future going to side with Metro? Or Drake. But you have to consider Metro's role here. He's an amazing producer. Some might even call him the best in hip hop. You can work with a great producer for your whole career, but you can't really have a partnership unless you're a duo with another rapper. Like if you're on Drake's side, what do you get? Okay, you get a feature and you get kind of the cultural relevance by being beside him. You might get a an Instagram tag or maybe you get a whole collab album. Future has all of that already from Drake. He got all of the right, benefits right. that you get from being Drake's friend in the industry. So kind of doesn't really need him anymore. Strategically, True. siding with Metro is better for the long term. Plus, who knows how close Drake and Future actually are as friends behind the scenes. Maybe Future was always using him for sales. But Future and Metro do have a long history together, and they are from the same city. For Kendrick, the decision was easy. It was just, let me jump on the number one producer's album and yeah, take a shot at the biggest rapper in the game. He but Metro like benefited heavily from both of these situations. Then add The weekend into the mix, and Metro yet again benefited from that too. The weekend received some bars on push-ups as well. Firstly, Drake said that The weekend claims Toronto, but he- I heard someone talking about why Kendrick don't like him. I don't know. Y'all can explain it better. It's like, he went on tour with him. He saw he didn't write his own shit. He had ghostwriters. And ever since then, he's been doing subliminals like, you know, uh, you sharing bars like you got the bottom bunk in a two-man cell. Like, just like that and they've been going back and forth ever since i don't know ever since control i don't know he isn't actually know, from there then me. he basically makes fun of the weekend's manager for paying metro to put him on his most recent two albums really which started. as you know the weekend does kind of stand out on heroes and villains and we don't trust you it's like all right the weekend's a singer he's not really a rapper like He's kind of like the token singer on this projects, on these projects. But again, why would The Weeknd need to be on Metro's album? Well, you guys have to think with your business brain. Sure, The Weeknd is a pop star, but he still needs that hip hop coolness factor. He needs the approval of the hip hop community to remain on top, even as a pop star. It's just a strategic marketing and branding decision. Like rappers just kind of have this cool factor that's 
difficult to explain. They usually have the most popping Instagrams. They dress the nicest. They just have this cool aura or looming interest around them that people, our right, society, so they, so they our you pop it, culture interest has knees. just kind of given them. Why do you think Post Malone started saying, yeah. with rap and then now drifted into pop and country? Why do you think Morgan Wallen wanted to collaborate with Lil Durk? Why do you think that pop stars want rappers to feature on their songs? Well, because they get this strong cultural cosign that is hard to quantify with dollars, but we all know that it exists. It's invaluable. And The weekend knows that he needs to maintain that. And how do you maintain that? Well, you get featured on Metro's album where the whole hip hop community is going to be tapping in to see who's featured on said album. The weekend chose to side with Metro because Metro will keep The weekend collaborating with the biggest rappers in the game and keep him relevant and cool. And Drake knows this. That's why he dissed him. As far as the Rick Ross beef, it just kind of strategically fit into Drake's diss. Drake just said, okay, I'm taking on everyone. Drake said <laughs> yeah. throughout push-ups, the theme of this track he is really that did. rappers need him for features, they need him for relevance, they need him to get their number one song, and Rick Ross kind of fits in that boat. All of Rick Ross's top hits have Drake featured on them, but it seems like most of their actual beef history is over women. No matter what. Again, because it's likely that any woman that Rick Ross can get, Drake could probably take from him and ross responded quickly on instagram because he I really doesn't have me. anything to lose he started making Drake, fun of his Teddy, nose Drake and is so fucking petty, uh, mentioned his mother and said that he has a bbl <laughs> he's calling him bbl drake <laughs> cupcake drake i feel like drake knew that rick ross was an ew <sighs> like no matter what rick ross says nobody's gonna take his side because he's old he's almost 50 years old he's so all old. in all Good what do you think bro. you think it's possible Especially that metro and he won that beat, ring leader behind all of this or do you think i have it wrong let me know in the comments. Drink water. Uh, yeah, like the video. Go support Patrick CC. He's dope.